Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Coal Iron Collaborative series of videos. You might know right off the bat, this is not Coal Iron Works. And thank God, we're at a much better place. I don't, need to <laughs> give, I don't need to give any introduction to the handsome gentleman right next to me. Hey, what's up, brother? What's up, Good brother? Good to see you all. It was nice watching this thing come off the truck, unzipped it, and got it in here. And yes. Got some killer artwork on there. This is the new 25-ton Coal Iron Works press with the CNC controller designed by Logan. And um, yep. we're gonna have a lot of fun with it. This is gonna be a new addition to the shop. We have a lot of other equipment, but right now this is gonna be the new baby, so we're gonna hold it and squeeze it. <laughs> That's badass. Pretty badass. We're excited to see what this can do on a piece of steel that we have from our good mutual buddy, Mr. Will Stelter. So Will came out to Coal Ironworks, hung out with Logan behind the camera and myself and the whole gang. Will did some magic with some steel. Yeah. He, he forged mithril. Yeah, he did. Some, uh, yeah, mithril. Uh, some what's it called? Black Panther steel. What's it called? Oh, um, uh, vibranium. Vibranium. <laughs> vibranium. Yeah, that's all in there. It's, it's all in there. I like yeah. it. Yeah, but I yeah. like adamantium too. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, we let Will loose, and he made a. Basket weave, twisted mosaic, sanmai pattern billet, which if you guys have already watched that video, you'll know. Part of that is gonna go to a winner. To be announced how you can win that piece of steel, but subscribe to the Coal Iron Works YouTube channel and to this fine gentleman's YouTube channel as yeah. well. That's the easiest way, you know, you can support somebody's yes. work, some craftsmen. Just follow them and like their videos and make comments. You know, it's, it's really didn't cost you anything. So I like to remind people to do that. We're excited to see what Jason's gonna do with this piece of steel from Will, this vibranium, adamantium, uh, mithril, mithril uh, piece of steel. And uh, Will and I, in that video, if you guys have watched, we conceived of, a, of an orc slang, demon slang, kind of blade, kind of leaf-like. So we'll see what... Uh, I grabbed the piece, I picked it up, it kind of makes it... Yeah, it does, yeah, it does. yeah. It has it in there, I know. <laughs> exactly. So we want everybody's uh, touch, their kind of personal stamp on this blade. And uh, after you do some forging on it, we're thinking Charlie Ellis. Yes. And then a little bit of uh, Kurt Howland work as well. Is it Hayland or Howland? I, I, I thought it was Hayland. I just I, call him Kurt Freehill. Yeah, I like Kurt Haylander. Haylander. But you Haylander. said he wouldn't get that, so that's yeah, fine. Those youngins. Which is the um, old space? Button. Yeah. Fold, fold time and space. You're yeah. gonna have to ask the handsome gentleman behind the camera, but I'm pretty sure he is working on a time travel. You put it in there for me, so it's yeah. important to me. There's a flux capacitor in here too, right? Yeah. Definitely. All right, we'll let you loose. We appreciate it, brother. All right, Thanks, man. Here, 25 ton is pushing about as hard as a 50 ton. Right. Probably never heard me go off on how much I despise the Casso on the knife. Especially a hunting knife. Hates it, precious is. So I think the is great on a dagger, a Quillian dagger. As far as putting your finger there, that's not yeah. my thing. The handle designed better, sure. and you don't need that.
Thank you for forging that blade out. That was epic. That was awesome to see. This has been a crazy couple days of filming. Spoiler alert, we actually just dropped off the blade at Mr. Kurt's shop. So Charlie's already done his work, but this Kurt is the Freehill. Kurt Freehill, yeah, Freelander. Uh, so Kurt's now doing the work, but what you guys have not seen is Charlie, who's the mad man behind yeah. stuff like this. This, this. First um, time I met Charlie at a sword that had a pommel that was an anvil. Yes. No high fives, okay? Yeah, no high fives. No high fives. No high fives. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so now what you guys are gonna see next is Charlie's gonna be taking the beautiful blade that Jason has forged. He's gonna be rough grinding it and working on uh, the grip and giving it his special Charlie Ellis touch. Yeah. Uh, Did you the, notice uh, that when we quenched it, it was like a, like this blue smoke ring and then a ship flew through it? Yeah. It was kind of cool. I think yeah. that's what happens when you use mithril. That, yeah, that's proof That's proof that real mithril was used in the steel. Yeah. So, cool. thank you, brother. We appreciate you so much. Yeah. Love the work you do. It's, so. it's always fun. You know, it's a new venture. You make new friends and you, mm -hmm. you take off in a new direction. And that's always a good thing to reform and not be afraid to, to take off in another direction than you're normally going. Absolutely. So it's good stuff. You're a fellow like-minded positive thinker in the craft. We want to share your, share your knowledge. We want to do that at Cole as well. We try to do that in these videos that you guys can watch here on the YouTube channel. We also, Lord willing, in the future, want to start hosting classes, events, and uh, you're top of the list of guys who want to have a part of that chaos. So, yep. we'll do um, it. hopefully Charlie too, and he can come and this track. Squirrel, squirrel. Thanks for watching, guys. All right. Appreciate you. Peace.